Hello, this is Jun. I'm a multi-body dynamics engineer of Function Bay, and today's topic is geared machine modeling in Recodine. First, I will introduce the background of geared machine system modeling, and I will explain the Recodine product and application of geared machine. I listed five things that come to mind when I imagine drivetrain. Electric vehicle robot has an electric motor, battery, and reducer system. In addition, various types of gear is one component in drivetrain. Lubrication of oil supplied to the bearings and durability analysis are also related. Vibration and noise generated from the driving system have a huge effect on the ride comfort of the vehicle. The system behavior may differ depending on the torque ripple applied to the driving system and the maximum torque. Problems occurring on each item can be analyzed through a high-speed rotation system that generates contact and vibration. In other words, these five factors must be analyzed through the dynamic simulation. In this presentation, let me introduce the geared machine system modeling considered five factors. I used Recodine software in this presentation and I will introduce the product briefly. Recodine is a multi-body dynamic simulation software and we can predict the behavior of mechanical system in the time domain. Recodine is able to analyze the whole mechanical system or the single unit component for several seconds to the tens of minutes. In the dynamic model, contact elements are necessary and Recodine solver calculate contact results easily. Also, flexible body modeling can be implemented in one platform and we call it MFBD. In the Recodine, nodal and modal body can be produced with rigid body system model and also it can control using FMI interface. Recodine drivetrain is a solution that enables to model and simulate the components of a drivetrain consisting of gears, bearings, shafts, and other components. Users can easily simulate and analyze drivetrain systems with specialized modelers, server, and dedicated post-processing. In particular, gear and bearing have been developed through technical partnership with Gleason's Keysoft. This allows to calculate a variety of results including transmission error for noise and vibration by using Recodine and Keysoft server and bearing libraries. Typical process of drivetrain model setup is following as Check the gear drawing and enter the geometry information of gear. At this time, Keysoft program or Recodine gear train icon is used. And then, bearing is produced which is mounted to the drive system. Recodine bearing library is used to generate the bearings. After creating the bearing, make the flexible shaft. By make, making the flexible shaft, the stress and deformation results can be seen. Once all drive system bodies are set up, contact elements should be defined. Simulate the model using Recodine involute contact or Keysoft interface. After the simulation, the transmission error, contact force, pressure, and changes in gear variables over time are checked. Once the drive system is modeled to gear, con gear contact, housing of gear box is converted from rigid to nodal flexible body, and then changed to modal body that can see mode frequency and mode shape. After that, variety of results can be checked after inputting an electric motor torque. Research for time and frequency domain can be viewed like transmission error, gear mesh frequency. Also through the Campbell diagram, resonance or excitation can be checked. This all typical process of system modeling can be implemented in Recodine. This is a case study of gearbox which has a reducer system including helical gears and planetary gears. The teeth of the helical gear have 18 on the driving gear and the driven gear have 71 teeth. One set of planetary gear is composed on reducer system, 
so total gear ratio is about 24. In addition, inside the planet gear and the shaft on each axis is installed total 11 bearings in different manufacturers like SKF or Scheffler. The driving conditions of the example increase linearly from 0 to 4000 RPM. On the upper side, 2000 Nm of counter torque is defined in the opposite direction of rotation. Here is a video of gearbox simulation results. From the video, we can confirm that the forces look reasonable. The contact forces between the helical gears shows spiral in a helical pattern along the teeth. We can also verify the speed reduction of the sun gear from the plot. It is possible to examine the results to verify if the simulation is reasonable. We can verify if the characteristics of the gears have been modeled well. To check this, we can use the gear mesh frequency. The gear mesh frequency is the frequency of the gear tooth engagement. Using GMF, other important things can be predicted. For example, we can predict the gear backlash, eccentricity, or misalignment issues using GMF. The gear mesh frequency is RPM multiplied by the teeth number, so we can calculate this analytically. It is a simple calculation. In this model, the GMF on the first shaft is 1200 Hz, and the GMF on the second shaft is about 184 Hz as shown in the right side table. We can use this to verify the results of Likodai model. But the transmission error from the simulation is in the time domain, so this can be converted from the uh, converted to the frequency domain by taking the FFT of it. The FFT FFT shows a high amplitude at 1,200 Hz. This is the largest in the transmission error, and it is from the helical gears. There are also many harmonics of 184 Hz. This is the GMF excitation frequency from the planetary gear system. So the recording simulation results are good match with the analytic values we previously calculated. Also, if you look at the results in the time domain, there is a, some much smaller amplitude shapes appears repeatedly as the gear rotates. So recording drive drivetrain, you can analyze both macroscopic and microscopic results together. Also, dynamic simulation allows you to predict the life of bearing under the various driving conditions. First, the basic formula for bearing life prediction is as follows. After a system modeling and simulation, dynamic load results of P can be acquired. The dynamic load rating condition C information provided by the bearing manufacturers. Then the life of results in million revolutions can be calculated as follows. Until now, I explained the gear and bearing components on the system level. Then let's consider a gearbox housing. The resonant frequency of the housing can be compared to the GMF to check if the reduction gears will cause large vibrations in the system. The flexibility of the housing is very important to the resonant frequency of the gearbox. So the flexibility of the housing must be included in the model. Therefore, we must convert the housing body to modal flexible body. We can use Likodine's eigenvalue server to generate it. The eigenvalue server will find the vibration mode shapes of the housing body. After the housing body has been converted to a modal body, we can find the vibration frequency of the total gear system. We use another Likodine eigenvalue server to do this. The result of this is the vibration mode of the total system and the frequencies. If we do this, we can see that the lowest, frequency, vibra the lowest vibration frequency is 581 Hz. Now we can see that 
the resonant frequency of the gearbox is different from the GMF, so there will not be a resonant frequency problem. In a gearbox model, electric motor model applied as an actuator. Electric motor model used JMAC motor design program and JMAC motor model exported to Simulink. In the Simulink, motor and control block model designed and recordine and Simulink co-simulation was performed. Before applying the motor to the gearbox model, the motor capacity must be selected. First, simulate the recordine model from 0 to 4000 RPM using the recordine's built-in motion. In this example, 90 Nm of torque were required to accelerate to 4000 RPM. Selected motor is PMSM 100 kW model and average torque is 177 Nm and maximum RPM is 9000. This capacity satisfies my gearbox model. So I co-simulated using this gearbox and motor model together. Moreover, controller model and inverter also applied in Simulink model. Here is a Campbell diagram result. A Campbell diagram is a signal processing method which can be applied to the mechanical systems that have rotors. The Campbell diagram is used to analyze the changing vibration characteristics of the system over a range of rotational speeds. As RPM increases, you can see what frequency components appear and how vibration characteristics change. In the figure below, the x-axis is RPM, y-axis is frequency, z-axis is amplitude. First, I will examine the results from the perspective of the mechanical system. Acceleration results at two points in the housing are used to identify the order line which increases frequency as the RPM increases. You can see that each order line getting bigger when it passes a specific frequency. This frequency indicates that the amplitude increases when the system frequency and operating frequency are close to each other. System frequencies were determined previously using an eigenvalue analysis. The effect on the motor can also be seen through the Kimber diagram. The left diagram does not include the motor model, and the right one includes the motor for simulation model. The left diagram shows a large order line at 18 and 36 in proportion to 18 in helical gear. The results on the right shows 36 larger and 72 and 108 more. The reason is that the motor has 12 poles and 3 phase motors, so you can see 36 times the order. If the natural frequency of the mechanical system is 1000 Hz, the resonance will occur as the motor accelerates. The natural frequency and the motor frequency will cross. This kind of resonance can be analyzed through system modeling. Additionally, when the inverter is included in the motor model, the switching frequency is also included in the torque component. This can be seen in the results. Terminal voltage generated by PWM switching contains the below components. Switching frequency is 6000 Hz. Multiple of switching frequency is 6000 and 12000 Hz. And harmonics around the sideband also appear. These components can be mixed with mechanical systems to analyze how the behavior of mechanical systems changes. This is summary. Gearbox system modeling can be modeled using recordine drivetrain and it can be analyzed in time and frequency domain. Also, system resonance, which caused by the mechanical vibration and torque ripple from the motor, can be found in gearbox. This is the end of my presentation 
and I hope that this presentation will give you a good idea about your geared machine system. Thank you.